Hi, so in this video we're going to talk about how to prove inequalities using the mean value theorem. In this video we're going to go through this example of proof absolute value of cos of y minus cos of x is less than or equal to the absolute value of y minus x. So to begin, we want to define our function from the question and get it in the form of the mean value theorem. So we can see that cos is used for the function often. So we can define f of x equal to cos of x. As you know, in the mean value theorem, there's a derivative. We want to differentiate the function. So we get cos x is negative sin x. Okay, now we have our f of x and f prime of x. Next order of business is to define the integral. As we can see from the mean value theorem, the interval is over a and b. In our interval, we can see the corresponding values of b and a are y and x. Hence, we want to define our interval as x, comma y. As x being the minimum value, minimum, and y being the maximum. Now all that's left to do is just apply the mean value theorem. So apply. So all we have is f of y substituting into this. f of y minus f of x on y minus x is equal to f prime of c. Now actually evaluating this. This would be cos y minus cos x on y minus x is equal to negative sine of c. Okay. Looking back at the question, we notice that there are absolute value signs around cos of y minus cos of x and y minus x. Hence, we want to absolute both sides of our function we get that the absolute value of cos y minus cos x and the absolute value of y minus x sorry, whoops, is equal to sine of c as the absolute just removes the negative sign. As you can see from the question that the y minus x is on the right hand side so to get this on the right hand side, we'd have to make sine of c equal to 1. And how would we do this? We'd set up an inequality with sine c that's greater than or equal to this function here, as shown by this inequality. So bringing sine c over here, we have sine c, as we know, is between negative 1 and 1. Hence, we could just take sine c is less than or equal to 1. Applying this back into this, we have the absolute value of cos y minus cos x over our absolute value of y minus x is equal to sine of c, which is less than or equal to 1. Now we have cos y minus cos x over the absolute value of y minus x is less than or equal to 1. Now all it's left to do is just multiply the y minus x over, so we have cos y, absolute value of cos y minus cos x is less than or equal to y minus x. Therefore we have proven the inequality.